Hello everybody, my name is Tamaria, and Horse Life has just updated. This is update 11. Um, they have added new luxury and oceanside palettes. I love that. New pink and black heart auras, as well as petal aura. I'm gonna have to get that. Dwarfism and giganticism mutations are added. Decrease or increase horse size by 2%. Hazel, olive, and olive green. Oh, okay. And olive green eyes added. Spirit boss tames added along with glow mutations plus spirit origin full drops. As you guys can see, I have a few new battle tanks since my last video. Um, this girl I'm on right here, this is Mambo. Oh, thank you for your wings, Mambo. <laughs> um, this is her husband, Samba, over here. I think you guys have seen Waltz. I don't know if he was in my last video or not. I do apologize if I stumble over my words a lot. I've been sleeping all day. <laughs> It's been so incredibly hot and humid all day where I live that I just, I couldn't do anything else other than sleep, so I'm still waking up a little bit. Is it just me or does Tortilla, sorry, not Tortilla, Fiesta look really smooth? Oh, Fiesta, you look normal again. I love you. I see they changed the appearance of the trait potions, which I think is really cool. I do see that it says it could break lassos, um, so just in case, I've got 49. I've got four woven ones, 45 string ones, because that's all I use. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use any of my better ones, like I've got one for bison right here that I don't really want, but it's okay. There is um, what appears to be a winged uni over here. I think this will be my third that I've caught. <laughs> I usually wouldn't want to take them home, but like, look at them! May as well tame this while we wait! Hello there! Alright, last one! Yeah! I don't know what I'll name you yet. Idea. What if I name this one Itty and the next one Biddy? <laughs> I don't know if Biddy would get by the filter though, would it? Itty... Biddy. Oh yeah, the word Biddy will get by. Okay. I have my troop of battle tanks completely ready. <laughs> Look at them. They're all so pretty. They've been led by Mambo, but I believe the true leader is Fiesta. On the map, find it to join the tame. Oh, um, hello. Where would that be? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Join. I'm gonna give them luck. Hello. So if I give them 250, okay, so 300. No. Um. What if I do 500? No, that's too much. 450. Okay, so just 400. I had to yell the words training area at my sister twice. Look at her over there. She couldn't find me. I was just right here. <laughs> Alright, we have 17, uh, 15 seconds. Here we go. Ooh! Oh, it's got a tax. That's fine. This is okay. I'm trying. What if I get right here? Okay. Okay, I'm good. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Standing on a hill kind of- kind of helps here. So I have no doubts about the fact that Mel and I are not going to be able to finish this on our own. But we got very close. Um, and I- I do have some opinions. I will just take them once this is over. <laughs> So, right off the bat, I want to say that that's very cool, um, and clearly it is meant to be a group activity. I just, <laughs> I was trying to avoid a public server just for a little bit. Um, but, I would, I would like to say that this, this brings me to something that I feel like could be a necessity, 
But beyond just hitting Q, there is not a quick stop button when you're running. Like, we've got a quick run button. Like, if you're if you're just at, <laughs> at a walk or higher and you hit shift, you will bounce between the race sprint and then gallop. I would love a quick stop button. <laughs> I don't want to have to keep spamming S every single time I would like to slow down. Um, and I'm so sorry if there's already one and I'm just a little... I'm just a little stupid and can't find it. As for the boss battle, that is so sick. <laughs> um, I lost a ton of lassos, but that's because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, as is expected for the first time you try something. Um, oh look, a unicorn! Anyway, I think the boss battles are pretty sick. I, I'll have to attend in an hour to, in a public service just to see, you know, if we could find anything cool. I did read that the spirit can be any species, so I feel like that could be a good goal for a future video. I would love to get a spirit battle tank. <laughs> because listen, everybody knows, I collect gargoyles! It's what I do! They're so silly, they're strong, and look at Mambo. She's gorgeous. The game will be updating in just a moment to make spirit tames easier, so I'm kind of excited to see how that goes. I think one big criticism I do have for this update, and I know that they're working on fixing it, so this, by the time you see this, it might actually be fixed, is just that there's no real insurance for users who put a lot in and then just don't really get much back if you don't tame it. I didn't lose a lot here, like 400 coins and maybe like 20, a little less than 20 lassos. Like, I didn't lose a lot. Um, but I would imagine, and this is totally, totally meta being that I'm, I was looking at the Discord. There are people who, who put in a lot, a lot of money for horses and just didn't really get anything that was worth it back. I'm not gonna lie, allegedly this was made easier. <laughs> Um, probably not easy enough to do on my own, but there's a minute and 30 seconds until it starts, and I I don't think I can join into a public server, find the totem in its random spawn point, and join in that time. Right off the bat, I can tell they did make it quite a bit easier. There are no longer, like, these waves and waves and waves. Before, it was just, uh, using that ring constantly. So it's ended. Obviously I wasn't able to beat it, um, and there there still really is no kind of insurance for players who put stuff in that I know of. So I think, I think I'm gonna leave that, that criticism on the table, but, <laughs> but I'm, I'm seeing people on Discord being incredibly, incredibly disrespectful to the devs, um, to the point of, I guess, allegedly allegedly sending threats. Don't do that. Okay, if you don't like an update, like I know there's gonna be plenty of people in my comments, at least this time, saying that they don't like the update. Um, just judging on how even the Discord reacted. <laughs> if you don't like the update, you don't like the update, okay? That is a valid criticism for the game. Saying that you don't like the update and suggesting ways that you can make it better is valid and constructive criticism getting angry at developers and teams that create these updates and probably go through hours and hours of testing and coming up with these updates is not good. <laughs> that is not how you handle being upset with an update. Um, like yeah, I'm a little disappointed in it too, uh, but ultimately I love this update. However, I feel it could be damage based instead of whether or not you tame the, you tame the spirit. So for example, say of 100% somebody does like 10% of the damage, 10 or lower, they get like the lowest tier prizes, they do, maybe they do 100% of the damage done, um, they get like the bigger part of the prizes. And I, in this case, would suggest disabling it for uh, for private servers? I'm so sorry to suggest that. Private servers with under three players. That's what I would suggest. If it becomes percentage-based, 
disabling it for private servers under three players would probably, probably help. I think to encourage more people to participate in a group activity, better prizes should be there for servers with more players in them. So with that, I do have to be up early in the morning, so I cannot go really go into a public server at the moment and try out the new update. I will in another video, I promise, or I will do a live stream doing it. <laughs> but for now, I think I like this update. Um, it's only been out for, I'd say, what, 11, like two hours it's only been out for. Um, I think so far it's really good. They it could definitely use some tweaking. Um, and I think the, the constructive criticism that I've been seeing people give is completely valid. However, again, one more time, do not harass the devs, do not harass the Discord mods as I've seen people doing. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully next week we will have a Wild Horse Islands video. I'm so sorry I haven't been uploading, but the next update on Wild Horse Islands is July 5th. Um, so we still have, we still have a couple weeks, and I just have no idea what to do in terms of content over there. So if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to let me know. It can be suggestions for Horse Life or Wild Horse Islands. Totally up to you. Um, I think in a few days we'll go rating viewer tax sets on uh, Wild Horse Island, if that helps. But anyway, if you guys like this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You can always subscribe later. Um, good morning for now.